So in this video, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about this cool retractable pen from Kakuyo. It's not something I've ever seen sold before in the US, but it's pretty easy to find in Japan. I bought this one from Amazon Japan. I think it costs about $3. So I think the retail price is around 300 yen, maybe 270 yen, but it's a pretty simple retractable uh, pen. We'll get into the type of pen in a second, which it says ballpoint pen here, but it has a gel refill. So it's a little bit confusing but it's called the Kukuyo Mi, that's M-E, as you can see there. It's about a $3 pen, and I don't believe it's available in the U.S. very widely, but if you buy it from, uh, the, like, importing from Japan, which you're doing a larger stationary order, it should be really easy to find. The model is the KME-BPEG5D102GB, so it just kind of rolls right off the tongue there. Uh, it is a, it says right here, Kukuyo ballpoint pen, and then it says right here, ink is a gel 0.5 millimeter black. So that's a little bit confusing. I would consider it to be a gel pen. They, for whatever reason, consider it to be a ballpoint pen. Uh, I, I don't really get that. Usually if a ballpoint would uh, mean it has an oil-based ink. And in Japan, a lot of times they call uh, something with a oil-based ink. That's actually what we consider in the US would typically be called a hybrid ink. They call it a ballpoint, but calling it a ballpoint pen with a gel ink is is really different. So then you're moving from an oil-based ink to a water-based ink. Anyway, that's not really a big deal, but now you know. Fully plastic body. It's a two-piece body. So you have the, the barrel here, and then you have the grip. And you can tell it's two-piece because the grip spins freely here. And it's actually, you can see it's spinning independently of the front piece and of the barrel itself. So we'll get into that in a second. Plastic clip with the window there. Pretty cool. Looks a lot like the clip on, uh, I forget the name of it, but Zebra has like a $5 disposable-ish fountain pen that uses almost a similar clip where it kind of goes out wider and it has that window. Pretty cool. The click here, really nice click, firm click, a lot of pressure. And it has this sort of swoopy front, which is really similar to what uh, Pentel uses on some of the Energels where it's raised over here. Uh, I don't think this is an Energel body, but it does definitely sort of, this top area reminds me of that. And again, really nice click, just hear it there. Nice work there. Has a little window here. And I guess if you were to remove this sticker, then you would still know what refill you have in there. Which the refill doesn't have a window on it. So it's not measuring ink level, but you could see you have a G, so G for gel, 0.5 millimeter refill, and that's what's in here. So uh, that's pretty cool. Up here, there's a little window here, but that doesn't serve any purpose. Uh, it looks like there's a release mechanism. You could see a tiny little piece there, a little uh, clear tab sticking out, but you can't get to that. So I'm not really sure what it does. Maybe that's functional on a different clip type, uh, or maybe that's just holding things together. I'm not really sure. It might hold this plastic piece in here. You can see the clip is a separate piece. I don't really know. I haven't figured that out yet, and I don't want to take this part, pen apart because I don't have a bunch of these lying around. Here's the grip. It's the same material as the barrel, but it has this really nice flat section here. You can see it's usually it's round, but one end is very subtly flat. You could just make that out a little kind of curve in, and it has these uh, these horizontal lines, which give it a little bit of texture because this spins you could line this up however you want your clip to line up. Maybe line it up here with the clip or maybe at a 90 degree angle, depending on how you wanted the clip to be. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Front piece has this curved inward, sort of a taper inward. It's a little bit of an odd design decision, but uh, it's okay. And then it has these little grips for opening up, which is nice. Nice heavy duty spring. That's why we have that nice click. And then here is that refill before we get to that we'll see that the grip actually does come off if you wanted to take the grip off you could uh, and that's more of a design decision from the manufacturer if they could then put a different grip on here with the same body and have an upgraded version if you were to move to a gel grip or a metal knurl grip or what have you uh, i don't believe that's actually available but this does come off there maybe it just makes manufacturing easy easier i'm not really sure Here's the refill, it's called the uh, Kukuyo. So it is Kukuyo branded, uh, the Araburno, which uh, not 
a type of refill or a refill subcategory or sub brand or anything I've heard of before. The uh, model is the PRR EG50, and I believe that's a little D. Maybe the D is the color desig designator, I'm not really sure. Uh, made in Korea. And then up here we have the, uh, you can see they go back and forth so that it'll line up with the window, G, so G for gel, and then 0.5 millimeter. The size of the refill is, uh, it's pretty much a Pilot G2 style. When I first looked at it, I thought it was a European rollerball style, and uh, it's not quite. You can see it's a Pilot G2, it has its extended front, so it should be interchangeable with like a Zebra and Pilot or Pentel, one or some of those gel refills. And here's that true European rollerball refill with a, uh, a spring stop here, but then an extended front end. This one has the tapered spring stop. And these might be interchangeable, they might not, depending on the pen. Uh, we can give that a shot here, put in that, and see if that fits. It's nice to have a Japanese pen body that fits European refills, that way you could put in a, uh, you know, a Waterman refill or something like that. It doesn't fit, so basically uh, it's too thick. Something here is hitting. I think probably the hole here is too thin for that European style refill, so no go there. See if we could fit in a Zebra refill. This is just a Zebra Sarasa Grand. Here we have that Zebra refill and that fits in perfectly oh nice fit so yeah it's definitely in that pilot g2 zebra sarasa type refill which is great to see this uh gel refill itself is quite nice uh you know it's not in the sarasa or Energel category but it's definitely a solid gel refill. Quick drying, as you'd expect from a gel. I mean, this is like a, this is a copy type paper, so it really absorbs that ink pretty quickly. Nice black, no problem there. So this is the Kokuyo Mi 0.5 millimeter black. Yeah, again, solid, quick drying, no problem there. Uh, again, it's hard to say it is definitively worse than a Sarasa Grand or, uh, sorry, a Sarasa or a uh, Energel refill, but I've used those two extensively and I can say that generally those are a little bit quicker drying and more dependable, but I haven't had any problems with this Kukuyo. This is my first Kukuyo gel pen. So I'm still getting, wrapping my head around it, but I have not had any problems at all. And it's been fun to learn how to use it, or to learn about it. I knew how to use it. So if you look at those two, uh, basically this being the Zebra and this being the Kukuyo, uh, really similar. You can't really see any difference. I would say that the Kukuyo is, it could be a rebranded gel ink from another manufacturer, but I'm not sure sure who makes their uh, gel refills in uh, Korea specifically, South Korea specifically. So it's hard to pin it down, but someone out there in the comment land might know. Anyway, that is the Kukuyo Mi. Uh, for a $3 pen, it's really solid. I would like to see this one in the US more. I've enjoyed using it. I don't think I would buy this over a Sarasa or an Energel. Those are just really solid gel refills or gel pens, but uh, it's a fun addition and I've enjoyed using it. So that's it. Thanks for watching.